USGS reports on Friday, March 26, 2021 at 8.56 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time that the lava infusion from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake within the Halemamao crater. The west vent is consistently infusing lava at low rates at one surface location and submerged inlets to the lake. Lava circulation and intermittent foundering of crust continue in the western portion of the lava lake, while the total depth of the lake is 224 meters or 735 feet deep this morning, uh, which was March 26, as measured by a continuous laser rangefinder on the active western portion of the lake. Stagnant and solidified crust, lava crust covers the eastern portion of the lava lake and is slowly growing westward, preventing any movement of the enclosed islands. Over on the east rift zone, the observations show no unusual activity noted in the region, while geodetic monitors indicate that the upper portion of the east rift zone between the summit and Puo crater contracted while the summit deflated at the onset of this eruption. There is no seismic or deformation data to indicate that additional magma is currently moving into either of Kilauea's rift zones. SO2 and H2S emissions from Puo were below instrumental detection levels when measured on January 7, 2021. While up at the summit, the most recent sulfur dioxide emission rates measured on March 22 was 950 tons per day. This is elevated compared to rates in the months before the eruption started on December 20th, which was less than 100 tons per day, but lower than emission rates from the pre-2018 lava lake, which was around 5,000 tons per day. Summit tilt meters record neutral tilt over the past day, i.e. no inflationary or deflationary trends. Seismicity remains stable, stable with elevated tremor. The current hazard analysis is as follows. High levels of volcanic gas, rock falls, explosions, and volcanic glass particles are the primary hazards of concern regarding this new activity at the summit of Kilauea. Large amounts of volcanic gas, primarily water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide are continuously released during eruptions at Kilauea Volcano. As SO2 is released from the summit during this new eruption, it will react in the atmosphere with oxygen, sunlight, moisture, and other gases and particles, and within hours to days, convert to fine particles. The particles scatter sunlight and cause the visible haze that has been observed downwind of Kilauea, known as VOG, or volcanic smog. During previous summit eruptions, VOG creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock operations. Rock falls and minor explosions, such as the ones that occurred during the 2008 to 2018 Lava Lake eruption at the Kilauea summit, may occur suddenly and without warning. This underscores the extremely hazardous nature of the Kilauea caldera rim surrounding the Halemaumau crater, an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007. Pele's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava fountains within Halemaumau will, uh, will fall downwind of the fissure vents and lava lake, dusting the ground within a few hundred meters or yards of the vent. High winds may waft lighter particles to greater distances. Residents are urged to minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation similar to volcanic ash. And that will pretty much do it for the USGS report for March 26, 2021. I hope you enjoyed that report, and mahalo for watching.